Yes, you read the title right, Jaren Knocked Out Broly. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and see as well as talk about how Jiren performed this. Let's go ahead and get into this information right after this intro. Thanks and a shout out to Jeremy for leaving a comment saying thank you for your videos. It really means a lot. And if you want to be shouted out in the next video, all you have to do is watch the video all the way to the end, leaving that like and a nice comment for me to read, and most importantly, be subscribed to the channel. Now, for what you've been looking for, Jiren Nakanabro of the manga for chapter two of the Ultra God mission has been released, and boy, do it show some good stuff. Jumping straight into this, no translations, starts off with the announcer pretty much wrapping up that this is almost the end of round one i believe in the promotional anime it was seven minutes left so it should be about the same here we can see contestants like harutagon and one of the generals from the red ribbon army essentially being spooked out his mind harutagon is blasting the whole entire area but the people he's not touching is jiren and broly as Jiren and Broly are actually standing off, without translations, I know for a fact that Broly is seeing the term Kakarot. That's all this Broly knows, which in turn gives us a flashback scene, or it could be Jiren remembering Goku as Kakarot, as we see an instance with Grand Priest Goku and Vegeta talking. Now Jiren tries to speak to this warrior, but Broly does no talking. He just begins to attack. He's yelling as he always does, and he begins to charge towards Jiren. Jiren dodges his punches and attacks with ease, but Broly does get the better of him one little time, if you can even call it that, by throwing a key blast straight at Jiren. Jiren blocking it, but that block is all Broly needed, and he grabs Jiren's head and smashes it clean into the wall. Now, of course, that's an old classic Broly move, but at the same time, him doing Jiren like that, I, I would have never seen something like this coming. Jiren immediately kicks him off with both feet, and another standoff ensuing, but something happens. Time skip. Just like that, Jiren's gone, but Broly's still there. Hit has intervened, bringing Jiren back to his location. At this point, the team matchup is good. I like the fact that Jiren is, you know, receiving help from Hit, but I really don't think it's needed. Jiren and Hit have a sidebar conversation, and that go Broly. He has found their location. As Jiren charges back towards Broly, Broly prepares for the attack. The Hit, he's helping. He's using time skip to not only freeze time for Broly, but he's allowing Jiren to go through that time as well. In other words, Broly is still frozen in time, but Jiren is getting closer. Jiren lands by Broly, preparing for a huge uppercut. Meanwhile, Broly is still in that same spot, in that same stance. And as he goes for the final blow, Hit releases the time skip. Shockingly, not even knocking him all the way up in the air. It's just a clean knockout from there. Kinda sad, we didn't get to see Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Broly. And I don't think Jiren used his full power either. But back in the previous chapter, Amcha was with Jiren at the time that Broly showed up. And to save Yamcha's life, Jiren slapped Yamcha away before the blast could even reach him. So it looks like Yamcha actually lost a tooth. That's when Yamcha runs into Mega Frieza. Now remember, in the first episode of the promotional anime, we can see Yamcha running away from Mega Frieza. And in this, it's no different. He is running away from the attack that Mega Freeza is landing on him. It seems like some sort of huge energy ball. And as he's actually jumping out the way or being blown out the way, guess what he runs into? Just like in the promotional anime that we got like two or three days ago, he runs into a time fairy. The blast dissipates. Mega Freeza is dumbfounded. He don't know what happened to him. And Yamcha is gone. Meanwhile, just like in the promotional anime, Xeno Goku and Super Saiyan 4 as well as Capsicor Goku and Super Saiyan Blue are having an all-out brawl. I do want to point out the highlights are in Super Saiyan 4 Goku's hair, so it could be using Limit Breaker. 
most likely he is using Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker. I believe Capsule Core Goku is still just using standard Super Saiyan Blue. As they are dodging one another's attacks, it looks like they're going in for one big blow with a kick. Just like we've seen in the promotional anime, when Yamcha captured the Time Fairy, it teleports everybody back to the arena or weather hall. So Goku is teleporting mid kick, and the person who's about to receive that kick is Yamcha. Yamcha prepared for a full power Super Saiyan Blue kick? It's him flying straight for that pole. That's when all the other teammates start to teleport in thanks to Yamcha. As you can see, Yamcha is knocked slap out. This is when everybody looks up and it looks like Aos or Ios have made her introduction as being the former Supreme Kai Time, the selector of space time. She goes ahead and tells everybody about the time fairies, you know, capturing one of them would go ahead and have you guys instantly in the round, but she's also saying that how the other space time warriors have ceased to exist. So this is pretty much how this chapter ends. Now this compared to the promotional anime, I would like to say that for once I enjoyed the promotional anime a little bit better. Seeing the hooded warriors which we did not see in this specific chapter, we didn't get to see those. So we didn't get to see future Gohan fighting his trunks, we didn't get that altercation. But we did get the ending of Broly vs. Sheeran. And it, like I said, it wasn't really as what I thought it was going to be. I thought we would see them at full power fighting and duking it out, but no. It was nice to see the hit and jeering team up, though. What do you guys think? Did you like the promotional anime better, or do you like the manga adaption this of this fight so far? Obviously, the manga could be behind a little bit, but this is chapter 2, and we on episode 2 of the promotional anime as well. So they should be aligned up with their slight differences. The only thing that's left now will be the arcade mission and of course once I get that information I will go ahead and show it. Now I will make another video once I get adequate translations of this chapter to let you know the dialogue that's being said especially with the Jiren and Broly altercation. Honestly I was bummed out about the Goku versus Goku fight even in the manga because usually the manga serves justice. That was just as short as it was in the actual episode. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Whether you like this chapter, was, what was it out of a 1 through 10? 10 being good, 1 being ass. Don't forget to hit that like button, goes a long way. Subscribe and turn on those post notifications. That way you can be reminded every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in the next video.